Talk Sin Huela, or Aaron Nelson Moody of the Squamish Nation, taps out a universal language, one passed on from his ancestors. Aboriginal, French, or Japanese, everyone speaks art. There's hundreds and hundreds of different nations here speaking, you know, many different languages, and uh, we were trying to find a way to start speaking, a common ground to start sharing stories, and that's what artwork for us is. This performance art was a part of the launch of the new exhibit called Elements of the Spirit at the Squamish Lilwa Cultural Centre, where the artwork was blessed through words and music. Art is blessed because you want to give it life. At one time it was a living tree, and before work was done, you, did, you bless the tree, you bless the wood before you work on it. Artist Annie Ross's Towards a New Taxidermy pieces were brought to life. I wanted to take the mounts that were considered trash and revitalize them in a way. And they're the first teachers. We can see Bear's hands and we see the medicine in his hands, literally because what Bear eats, humans can eat. If you follow a bear, you'll find your way to water, you'll find your way home. They'll take care of you in that way. Eagles take flight in all four directions of the wind, in Toxin Huala's giant eagle spindle whirl as well. While I was working here during the Olympics, I noticed we had a lot of conversations around uh, the eagle. And I wanted to pick um, you know, one creature that we all have in common, we all seem to look up to for inspiration. For instance, people will look at the eagles on the, that spindle whirl and they'll probably think of their own stories, their own personal stories, and maybe their own cultural stories. And uh, in a place like this, I think they start to share those stories as well. Stories that have found a home here at the Squamish Lilwat Cultural Centre. From Whistler, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for Shaw TV. Yeah.